customer experience more about that using design thinking design thinking is a method that puts the user at the center of the design process it is user centered customers and users at the center of the design process it is co-creative all relevant stakeholders to be included in the design process sequencing deconstruct journeys into touch points and interactions evidencing physical evidence or artifacts can trigger positive memories of service experience holistic consider the environment as people can see hear smell touch taste and emotionally feel the physical manifestation of services these are the five principles of design thinking from mark stigdon design thinking has been there since the 1950s but more and more has come uh, it has gradually expanded in its theory and concepts and uh, used more and more in the modern digital world but primarily it's about focusing on the user what does the user want some observation may have to be done about how a user uses products or may use a product rather than telling the user how to use it or what the provider would like to offer it's a outside in approach not an inside out approach customer first approach user first approach so design thinking is about how designers should think to create innovative solutions which fit user needs that's why it's user centered they, therefore they need to engage with the real users the designers have to engage with the real users to correctly understand their problems and explore various ideas for resolution co-creation is essential what is sequencing deconstruct journeys into touch points and interactions which means the customer journey should be visualized as a sequence of interrelated actions with touch points and interactions they may be phone calls they may be rece receiving of emails or looking uh, or uh, finding some article on the internet about a provider uh, therefore these uh, actions the touch points and interaction may be human to human sometimes it can be human to machine sometimes even machine to machine if you look at um, ai ops or machine learning a lot of machine to money machine interactions or it could be like online reviews which is third party there may be a third party party feedback uh, survey and um, every such journey goes through a pre service period actual service period and post service period like for example if i am getting in touch with a service or a provider it is pre service period how is my experience with the pre service period then the actual service period when i am experiencing the service and also after the service is done the post service period how are my overall feelings emotions and what benefits did i get etc sometimes it can be um, in memory for several years a good or bad experience so that is sequencing complete sequence of the journey as we saw before in the journey map evidencing artifacts sometimes um, giving souvenirs can trigger positive memories of experience um, meaning a customer journey might be weak but a certain souvenir like a free gift as part of a service can trigger happy reaction and satisfaction in a user holistic yeah so not just the product usage but all the human senses need to be considered when designing a product or a service so it's no longer about procedures processes but it's more about the human element in any endeavor so it's like coming back full circle isn't it it all began with the human focus then it went too much into technology and procedures and so on now it is again coming back to the human element employee satisfaction user satisfaction customer satisfaction more about the design thinking for the customer journey design there are five steps while we just did the five principles of design thinking now these are the five steps in sequence 1 2 3 4 5 empathize define ideate prototype and test 
A typical customer journey design process may be as per the stages proposed by Hesso Plattner Institute of Design at Stanford. This is the process of design thinking. These five steps are proposed by this institute. Empathize, learn about stakeholders, define the personas and scenarios, which we already did. Empathy or service empathy, another related term, is about understanding the consumer, their mindset, able to predict their future needs, their future behaviors. It's about deeply understanding them. Define. Define the problem in human-centric ways. Map existing customer journey. Map stakeholder experiences. Define outcomes, experiences, and value. Set goals and define metrics. Ideate. Brainstorm and come out with many creative solutions. Prototype. Build a representation of one or more of the ideas. Now, there may be several ideas after defining, after the empathy, definition and ideation several options may be there but something needs to be demonstrated so it's like building a small model to show the idea to others like a small uh, like a website a simple website or maybe a physical product there is this concept of mental model also in in design thinking though it is not shown here the mental model is about a way of thinking by a certain user the user is the best person to tell us about what they want or how they want their journey to be, how they want their product to be. Therefore, uh, there are, uh, uh, in prototyping, there are uh, um, um, important areas like the frequency. Frequency meaning what are the things which customers do most, most frequently or which are done more important. Is it like they will make a phone call to customer service regularly? Is that what is their most um, uh, thing which is important for them? Or is it that they will use a product in a certain way rather than calling up customer service? That's called frequency. Sequence is another, op another key concept. Frequency, sequence, and importance. These are three areas to be considered in prototyping. Sequence is about presenting an appropriate sequence. Which features should come first? And lastly, importance. Meaning, what information has to be given to the consumer? When? For example, do we tell them that once the prototype is done, what is the next step? And uh, when the final product will be designed and will be delivered, when do we tell them what? And lastly, test. So in summary, prototype is about building a model to get some agreement and proceed and expand on that model. Testing, get stakeholders to review, build in feedback loops and interactive design.